Good evening, I'm Laura Yamada. Paula Akana has the night off. Well, new at 6 tonight, it's a decision that could affect your monthly sewer bill. KI TV 4's Catherine Cruz joining us with more on a tentative agreement over a six-year-old lawsuit between environmental groups and the city. Catherine? Well, Laura, if all goes well, this deal will go down as a major milestone in the city's history. It still needs city council and federal court approval. Until then, the details about the cost and the timetable for higher fees can't be released. But it's safe to say taxpayers will probably end up paying for sewer improvements, but over a longer period of time. Who could forget the sewage spill of 2006? More than 40 millions of sewage shut down Waikiki beaches, keeping residents and tourists out of the water. That triggered a costly lawsuit by environmental groups and made an ongoing battle with the Environmental Protection Agency over sewage treatment even uglier. Fast forward four years later with the new head of the EPA's western region and lots of behind-the-scenes lobbying by a mayor who's running for governor, the city's wastewater woes aren't as dismal as they once were. This is the right decision, the right time, and we're very proud to be part of uh, this settlement and look forward to it being finalized um, both through the city council and through the court. Bloomingfield flew in from San Francisco for the announcement. We wanted to make sure that we get aggressive action on behalf of the citizens of Oahu and Hawaii, um, but we also wanted to make sure that the rates were fair. The mayor calls a tentative settlement practical and realistic. We wanted to do it in such a way that an extended construction schedule would be granted so that we wouldn't have to do this as quickly as some have suggested we needed to do. The two sides still disagree on the science behind whether the city needs to upgrade its sewage plants, treating wastewater twice instead of once. But the deal sets up a schedule to make improvements to the aging sewer pipes now, treatment plants later. We have tried and tried and tried to make the case that we are not doing any damage to the environment by not having to go to secondary treatment. And as much as we have done that, uh, we were hitting a brick wall because we have the EPA that was very committed to ensure that cities do go to secondary treatment. In the last five years, Hanneman says the city dramatically stepped up sewer line inspections, sewer repairs, and upgrades. And there have been significantly fewer spills over the last decade, from 119 to a record low of 44. And to put costs in perspective, the mayor says legal fees alone in this case hit $10 million. The city council is set to vote on the settlement next month with a review by a federal judge, hopefully sometime in August. Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News.